3 Reasons You Shouldn't Buy OnePlus 5 Hello guys my name is Mr. Raja Dillon and you, watching Tech with India. So let's start. OnePlus 5 is finally here. Months after the launch of the 3T, the Chinese tech giant has launched its latest, OnePlus 5, being touted as not just a flagship killer but also a high-end flagship phone in the truest sense of the term. The phone was said to be worthy of being in the same league as the Samsungs and HTCs of the smartphone world. It could not simply be dubbed a knockoff Chinese flagship pretender if public opinion was any indication. There is no denying that many of these claims are based on solid ground, and irrespective of its price, OnePlus 5 is a very good phone. It went on sale in India on December 14 and was set to be worth the anticipation, irrespective of its cost. And at RS29999, it indeed becomes a phenomenal phone. Yet, there is no such thing as a perfect phone. Like others, the OnePlus 5 II has chinks in its armor that make it a less favorable buy for every type of user. Here are three reasons why you shouldn't buy the OnePlus 5 outdated display for a flagship contrary to the expectation of the flagship killer sporting a Quad HD 2560x1440 panel. OnePlus has decided to bring out the new smartphone with the same 1080p panel found on the 3T. The phone flaunts a 5.5-inch Full HD AMOLED display capable of pumping out 401 pixels per inch, which frankly is a bit underwhelming when compared to the competition. The logic behind OnePlus deciding to put a display on a phone that will be obsolete by the turn of the year is frankly difficult to understand camera's performance not up to the mark. OnePlus 5 also retains OnePlus 3T 16MP front-facing camera. The smartphone's camera, which is powered by Sony IMX371 sensor, electronic image stabilization, and f/2.0 aperture, is known for not clicking great selfies. The phone's much-touted dual-camera setup at the back also fails to impress in low-light conditions. OnePlus claims that the dual-camera Unit found on the new phone is the highest resolution dual camera system on a smartphone. Today turn out to be hollow as the phone does not click great pictures. The lack of optical image stabilization further dents the camera performance of the phone. Not water resistant most flagships today come with water and dust resistant certification, so it's another decision that leaves OnePlus 5 trailing similar flagships in the market. This decision by OnePlus becomes even more difficult to understand when you factor in the that both OnePlus 3T and OnePlus 3 were water-resistant devices. This decision could prove to be a serious issue for many buyers given that most mid-range smartphones today are also amphibious in nature. 